The movie begins with a meteorite rapidly approaching the Earth. As soon as it enters the Earth's atmosphere, it starts combusting, and by the time it hits the town of Wheelsey, South Carolina, it goes unnoticed. Little do the residents know, this speck of meteorite is about to wreak havoc because it has brought a malevolent, sentient, extraterrestrial parasite with it. Starla is an Earl Bassett Community College teacher and the wife of a wealthy resident, Grant Grant. Yes, that is his name. With a huge age gap between the two, Starla is often quoted as a gold digger. But the police chief, Bill Party, who also is secretly in love with her, doesn't think so and feels she is just a victim of the circumstances. Later that night, when Grant tries to get cozy with Starla, she refuses to grant the favor, making Grant leave the house to cool off. Grant sits in a bar alone until a woman named Brenda approaches him flirtatiously, and Brenda confesses how she has always had a crush on him, and after sharing banter, they kiss. But Grant stops her and says he needs to get back home to Starla. Suddenly, the fallen meteorite and the weird-looking, slimy egg grab his attention. Out of curiosity, he pokes it with a stick, and finding it hollow, they follow the slimy trail leading them to a slithering, cocoon-shaped, worm-like creature. Brenda asks Grant to leave it alone, but Grant pokes it with a stick and gets stung by a dart-like thing that the creature ejects from its back. The sting enters Grant's body and reaches his brain, absorbing his mind before taking control of his body. Grant soon wakes up and without saying anything, he returns home, leaving Brenda in the woods. Once back home, he eats all the meat stored in the fridge and starts preparing a nest in the basement. The next morning, Starla tries to make up for last night and apologizes for pushing Grant away. Grant stares at her before he feels his eyes welling, and thus, for breakfast, she lets him put his condensed milk on her waffle. Grant's body soon starts changing as he eats more meat and even the neighbor's dog, and tentacles start appearing from his chest where he is stung. One morning, while Starla is taking a shower, Grant starts walking towards the shower with tentacles hanging out of his chest, ready for some hentai action, when Grant stops himself. His love for Starla doesn't let him harm his wife. Instead, he meets his paramour, Brenda, at her home. Brenda is ready with her clothes off, but she is in for a shock when she sees two tentacles hanging and wriggling from Grant's chest. The tentacles pierce through Brenda's flesh and infect her with alien larvae so she can serve as a host. That night, when Starla returns from a party, she finds Grant's body distorted and swollen, which he describes is a result of a bug bite. Starla pleads with him to go to the hospital, but he refuses and says he has already seen the local doctor and he has given him a prescription. The following day, when Grant's condition doesn't change, Starla gets concerned and calls the doctor about Grant's condition. However, she gets suspicious when the doctor says he hasn't seen Grant in over a year. Meanwhile, Grant kidnaps Brenda and keeps her chained in a shed in the woods. He collects all the meat he can and brings it to her to nourish the alien larvae growing inside her. The same night, Bill and Wally from the police department visit Starla looking for Grant as they have a missing report about Brenda and Grant is the last person seen entering her house. After the cops leave, Starla goes to grab a baseball bat and breaks open the lock Grant has installed on the basement door. She has her suspicions and to see what Grant is hiding, she goes inside and finds the basement looking like a butcher's shop. And by butcher shop, I mean serial killer den, but with dogs, cats, wolves, and all sorts of animals dead and hanging from the ceiling. She rushes back upstairs and immediately calls the cops, but a grotesque looking Grant suddenly appears before her and attacks her. When she retaliates, he chokes her, but the police arrive just in time and Grant flees. Three days later, the mayor, Jack McGrady, is on the edge because the police have not been able to catch Grant, who has been attacking and stealing farm animals. After another attack is reported, 
Bill leads a posse to search for Grant. Starla insists she accompanies them, and even though Bill protests, Starla convinces him if they have any chance of finding Brenda alive, it is with her, because Grant will listen to only her. They wait at a farm where they think Grant will strike next, and soon, Grant appears. The group is shocked to find that Grant has turned from what they described as a squid into a slithering creature with tentacles, and using those tentacles, he kills a cow and drags it along. Starla refuses to wait there and follows Grant, and the rest of the group tail them. She calls out to Grant and promises never to leave his side, but asserts that he needs help. She asks him to come along with them, but when Grant slices one troop member into two troop members, spilling his guts out, the others open fire in response. Grant slithers into the woods at lightning speed, and others chase him. They reach an old shack and find Brenda, who now looks like a gigantic belly button, bloated from the larvae growing inside her. Suddenly, Brenda explodes, and thousands of larvae burst out of her. They attack the troop and kill everybody except Starla, Bill, Jack, and another cop, because they prevented the larvae from entering their mouths, but the others are not so lucky. Bill tries contacting the control room, but when he doesn't get a reply, he decides to go to the town to get backup. Meanwhile, Starla checks on the downed men and finds that they are all still alive. They all soon gain consciousness and start talking to Starla as Grant would, giving her the creeps. The second cop tries to stop them, but they squirt some sort of acid from their mouths at her and kill her instantly. Jack and Starla run into the woods to save themselves. The larvae make their way to the town and attack every resident to make them a part of a hive mind, who share consciousness and are controlled by Grant. A teenager named Kylie manages to save herself from the attack, but unfortunately loses her family. She hides in a truck, but soon finds herself surrounded by her resurrected family, now under the control of the alien, asking her to come out and join them. When her father tries to break the windshield, her cries are heard by passing Bill, and he asks what's wrong. Kylie runs to him and tells him something is wrong with her parents and explains they have worms in their brains. Bill assists her back to his car, dodging attacks from other residents. Just as they lock themselves in the car, Bill spots Starla and Jack running from alien-infested residents and helps them by running over a cop chasing them. Starla then finishes it off with an angle iron before getting into Bill's car along with Jack. In the car, Kylie tells them that when the slug went into her mouth, it felt as if she had become Grant and that the creature infesting Grant's body came from outer space and looked like a needle. It travels from host to host, while some he gets pregnant and others he takes over with his worms. The creature also preys on its host till they're gone. Bill tries getting help from the control room, but the operator is infected too and she sends someone to ram into their car so the others can catch them. And so a car rams into them, and Bill is the first one to wake up, but it is too late, and the infected residents already have Starlow with them. He rescues Kylie, but because Jack remains unconscious, they have no choice but to run away, leaving him in the car. Bill and Kylie make it to the police station, and Bill asks her to wait outside while he retrieves a hand grenade from the station. While inside, Bill is attacked by an animal so deformed that it is difficult to make out if it is a wolf or a worm-infested deer. We'll go with deer. Kylie sees Bill being attacked and rushes in to help him by knocking the deer off using a fire extinguisher. Bill arms himself with a grenade and hands a loaded gun to Kylie for her protection. They see the infected people dragging the bodies to Grant's house, and they decide to follow them. At Grant's house, Jack wakes up in the basement with the other people who Grant has impregnated, and when Jack tries to run away, he is also impregnated. Starla wakes up in a room with a gasp. She has been cleaned and dressed by Grant's pawns and remains unharmed in the hopes of gaining her affection. 
Starla tries getting out of the window, but they are sealed shut, so she hides a brush with a pointed edge in her underpants before stepping outside her room. She is horrified to see Grant, overly mutated, like if Jabba the Hutt was microwaved, and he is absorbing the infected people. He calls her various unfathomable names when he sees her, before grabbing her with one of his tentacles. Starla uses her charm and reminds Grant how much she loves him and wants to be with him. He loosens his grip on her as she gets closer to him, and when she gets the opportunity, she takes out the brush and stabs Grant with it. Grant becomes furious and throws her across the room. Bill hears the scream and hurries into the house, killing the infected along the way. Bill and Kylie make it inside the house, and Bill prepares to throw the grenade, only to be flicked away. Bill frantically searches for it and tries again, but this time gets thrown out of the window with the grenade, and it slips from his hands into the swimming pool where it goes off. Grant releases his tentacles and stabs Bill with one of them, while Bill holds on to the other. Grant starts transferring the larvae into Bill, but before the situation worsens, Bill shoves the other tentacle into a propane tank, which starts filling Grant with flammable gas. He pulls in the tentacles, dragging Bill and the tank inside the house, and Bill manages to tell Starla to shoot Grant. Starla does, and Grant explodes, killing everybody who is infected by the larvae. Starla and Kylie survive, and they approach an unconscious Bill. He suddenly gains consciousness, and it turns out that the larvae did not enter his body, as both tentacles need to stab the body for the transfer to complete. With the entire population of Wheelsy dead, the three survivors head to the nearest town to seek medical help. In the post credit scene, a cat approaches Grant's brain and starts feeding on it, only to be stung by the needle-like alien parasite poking out of the remains. And that's a wrap for this movie recap. Thanks for watching.